Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, I wasn't sure what I was going to do this time around, but I think I found a project. Yeah, we're, we're looking here at uh, Joliet, which is not uh, connected to the transportation network. Well, it is with roads, but it isn't connected to the rail network. And it occurs to me that, you know, we could connect it to the uh, rail network. And that wouldn't be too terribly difficult. Now, I'm I'm thinking I'm going to come up from Mega City One, and we'll come across over these mountains, and we'll come through Joliet, and then I think we'll connect up over into Lilliput. I think. Um, yeah, because we can chuck a platform on here, and we can chuck a platform on here. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's, uh, let's get started. Um, this is going to need a little bit of uh, renovation. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that under pause. Uh, so that the, uh, the game doesn't get ideas, right? Uh, so we'll take that out. And we will, of course, uh, chuck in a platform. Well, a track anyway. Right? And then we're going to need a uh, platform, say, over here. Well, we'll try over there. And a uh, passenger building, which we can fit in there. Yeah, okay. That'll work. And I guess... We should probably do this. Um, yeah, okay. So that gets us a uh, platform over there. Now, we were going from Mega City 1 over to Lilliput, right? So over here, we just need to add in a platform here. Um, and that's not going to be uh, problematic, since uh, we've got space. Um, <clears throat> right, then we're going to need... Uh, ...to get the uh, platform all the way out. Yep. Uh, right. Okay, and we also need these, right? Um... Good. Okay, that gets us our uh, uh, connection points at either end. Um, where did where did our ah uh, what what did I do? I rotated things. That's what I did. Uh, where's Mega City One? There's Mega City One. Let's put this back this way. Um, okay, so I'm going to need to be going across basically this way. So I'm just going to eliminate uh, this part of the town. Uh, let's just pause it so it doesn't rebuild the street, right? And then what do we need here? We need a building and we need a passenger station with two tracks, full length, high speed. Yeah. Uh, and we can just wang this in right about like this. You know what? I think that works. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, good. And that is supposed to be Joliet. Good. Now, uh, we need to build some tracks. And this is where things get slightly challenging. Uh, let's um, grab the ugly here. And we'll find out that... This station is at 121 meters, and this station at Lilliput is at 4.5, so we've got a large difference there. And then at Mega City 1, where's Mega City 1? Oh, come on. Mega City 1 is at. Okay, so we don't have a huge elevation difference between Mega City 1 and our new location. 
so well, we'll just uh, we'll start from this side here and we will first of all get some track out here uh, we're gonna go to there right and we can go to here and connect that up and I think that's fine there now we're going to need to get over this this track uh, or under it but I think I think over will will maybe look better um, I'm not sure how well we can do over but uh, we can definitely come around like this and see if we can do that well we can definitely get over okay that is not however the way we want that to run okay well uh, if we come across yeah I think that way will probably be fine uh, yeah so let's uh, grab a, an appropriate uh, bridge yep uh, grab that now I think we can just uh, come straight over like this um, okay and we can continue the down on that yeah that's probably fine and then we just need to punch through the uh, the mountain here uh, in which case we will uh, take off the uh, training wheels I guess and we will see about wanging on to here can't construction not possible naturally um, Okay, well, we can bash around that way, but I don't think that's that's quite what we want to do. No. What we want to do is take this road out. That's what we want to do. You're sure you want to take the road out? Yeah. Because uh, if I take the road out, then everybody has to go by train, right? And that... Uh, that should uh, annoy enough people to uh, be annoying. Uh, yeah, something like that. No, I I think I'll put the road... Okay, I'm going to keep that there. Uh, no, I'm going to grab that. And... Uh, And we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, right. And if the town wants to grow over the tracks, it can. Right? Uh, okay. Now, if we come up this way, can we... Yeah. Okay. We can actually make that work with a uh, viaduct there. Yeah, a tunnel there, and a viaduct there. You know, I think I'm okay with that. So we'll definitely do that. And now we need to run the uh, track back this way, right? Um, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to run the track back that way. Now... Uh, we have one part of the track connected up. Now, this one is going to be slightly more challenging, I think, because we have to get down quite a bit further, right? Uh, so I want to uh, just check with the ugly again. And here, we're at 111. So we're halfway down from over here. So I think we want to come around this way yeah I think that's exactly what we want to do so 
we're going to do that. And we're going to turn the ugly off again. Uh, tracks, yes. Um, well, interestingly, let's just see what we get if we crow fly it. Uh, now, well, we can actually get all the way down. Interesting. Uh, we end up with a level crossing there. Um, yeah, okay, so we don't have to worry too much about getting all the way down. Right, okay. Well, let's, uh, uh, let's go at least some down bubble here. Yeah. Uh, we want to be on that? Yeah, we do. Okay, so if we come in like that... Yeah, I think I like that better because the uh, the speed is better. Then we can come down this way. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And we can come down like this. Okay, yeah, I think I can accept that. Okay, so build it. Yeah, I uh, I definitely built it. Okay. And uh, what are you going to do about the rest of it? I'm going to build the other track. Oh, I see. Okay, you're building the other track. Okay. It would be really cool to have a slightly better uh, underground building tool, I think. Uh, but uh, we have what we have, so we work with it. Okay, so that uh, that works. Uh, no, we need to do this, right? And then we're going to need to fling... Well, first of all, let's uh, fling some signals at this, right? Uh, because we uh, definitely need uh, need signals on here. Uh, right. So we'll need one here. And probably a couple along here. At least as a hedge against adding more trains in the future. Right? Um... It's going to be a long, sweeping uh, tunnel there. Uh, right. Okay. So, uh, while I'm uh, doing this, uh, I'll just say that uh, I've managed to pick up a few too many games that I've been following. And uh, with the release of uh, NIMBY Rails, and also the uh, uh, potential upcoming bug fix for buoyancy, uh, along with the impending release of uh, Voxel Tycoon Early Access, uh, I have uh, I don't have enough slots in the week to uh, give all the games the standard coverage. So what I'm going to do, starting uh, next week, I'm going to run. Um, I'm going to run the um, uh, Transport Fever weekly on Thursdays. And I'm going to uh, use Monday to uh, cover some uh, random stuff. Uh, this Monday, it's probably going to be another part of Rise of Industry. Tuesday will uh, be, that will be uh, NIMBY Rails. Uh, Wednesday is going to be free call still until the uh, game is finished. Um, uh, Thursday will be Transport Fever 2, and Friday will still be Soviet Republic. Uh, that doesn't leave any room for anything else, though. 
So I'll have to revisit that when the situation changes. Uh, you need to put a depot in or something if you want to get uh, if you want to get trains onto this. Yeah, this had occurred to me. What if I put it here? Well, you could certainly do that. Yeah, I know. That's be that's why I'm going to do that. Uh, I keep pressing R to rotate things. Yeah, it's not R in uh, Transport Fever. <laughs> it's uh, M and N. Uh, okay, well, I've got that. So let's uh, let's bail into here, and we'll buy a train. Now, I feel like I want to do something other than one of these electric multi-units here. So, I'm going to go in here and grab an electric uh, engine. Uh, what's this one? It does 160. That... Well, the, the BR-103 does... Uh, uh, 200. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, it's got power, so that would be good. And then passenger, we want something that does... Well, the... Uh, what is that? Einheitswagen? Uh, that'll do 200 carries 22 and the West Rail West Fleet does 200 carries 21 right 53 tons 42 tons well I think we'll go with the uh, Einheitswagen wagon whatever uh, one two three four that gives us 88 five that's 110. Do you think you're going to need? You obviously think you're going to need. Well, that gives us... You're going for 220 capacity with a 286 meter train. Well, they are 320 meter platforms, so we can certainly get away with that. It's only 58 million. We only have 2.8 billion in the bank. Buy one. Okay, um, now you're going to have to put it on a line, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I definitely need to put it on a line. Well, that's easy enough to do. Right, and this is going to be uh, intercity rail, and that's MC1 to Lilliput right okay well we've done that uh, what are we gonna do now we're gonna ride the train are we now yeah yeah we're we're gonna ride the train uh, I, I actually I kind of want to see this uh, this thing going through here that's that's kind of why now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with uh, with Transport Fever 2 uh, in the uh, next uh, uh, little bit there's a uh, there's a beta version underway which uh, has some significant updates uh, at least in uh, performance uh, I'm not sure all of them are an improvement uh, but there are updates and a couple other things to it and that's going to be releasing uh, in February uh, so I'm thinking I might start a new map uh, at some point in uh, uh, shortly after that releases. Once I'm sure it's stable, uh, so I think I'll uh, I'll look into starting a new map at that point. I'm also getting a new computer, which theoretically will have better horsepower. You know, I'm not running a potato by any stretch of the, the imagination currently, but uh, compared to the modern systems, it's uh, starting to be uh, really potato-like. It's, it's far too many years old, uh, several generations behind in uh, processor tech. Uh, video card's not bad, but it's a bit weak. Uh, 
yeah, so generally all around, uh, I might get get some better performance uh, in the uh, in some upcoming videos as well. Uh, so so there's that. But uh, overall, the uh, the transport fever thing. I had a gimmick for another for the next map, but now I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. So I might, uh, I'll have to play around with the new hardware and see what it can support. Uh, if, if I uh, call up this map and I get better performance, then uh, I'll definitely be able to, uh, you know, to do some, uh, some other stuff here. Like, I haven't been able to for uh, a couple months now, uh, or a month or at least two months. Uh, I haven't been able to get this map to run faster than uh, one the standard one speed. Uh, the uh, speed up doesn't do anything, right? And that's why... Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm actually springing for new hardware, but that's not the only reason. It's, it's time, right? Uh, anyway, uh, that should improve things with uh, Transport Fever 2, at least some. Uh, it will definitely uh, improve things in NIMBY Rails. But most of the other stuff shouldn't see much of a difference. So we'll, we'll see. And that's assuming it doesn't cause everything to go all kerflui and not work at all. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem, because uh, I'm sticking with the same manufacturer for... Uh, for a video card. I'm sticking with the same uh, manufacturer for processor. So uh, I should have consistent results. Uh, basically consistent results anyway. Looks like we're going to pick somebody up here in Joliet. I wouldn't be surprised if we see, uh, as this beds in a bit, we see a bunch of shortcut traffic uh, coming across this this link instead of going around the long way. And you know what? That's fine. Uh, it's definitely a uh, a uh, a link, and, and you know that's kind of why I put the uh, 220 passenger capacity train on here, right? Uh, because it will uh, allow for that, right? Um, yeah. So all, all in all, uh, the uh, the next uh, month is going to be a little bit uh, busy here, uh, as far as uh, uh, content production. I want to uh, avoid doing multiple videos in a day. Not because I think that's a bad idea to do multiple videos in a day, but I want to avoid messing with my sanity, uh, right? So um, there aren't enough of you guys to uh, to allow me to make anything doing this. So uh, you know, I uh, I do still have to do a day job, right? Is it me or is this? this map running a little smoother than uh, than the past few episodes if it is I'm not complaining uh, that might that might be a symptom of reduced traffic actually if there's less agents running around the map uh, if, if things are getting to their destination faster that could be improving things or it could be confirmation bias and I'm fooling myself right uh, yeah, probably it's that. Okay, we're coming out of the tunnel here. There's the freight tracks, just came in beside us there. Yeah, here we go. Through the cut and into the passenger station. Yeah. This kind of works. kind of like this approach, actually. Straight toward the uh, skyscrapers there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're coming into the the station here. And everything should be good. 
we are going to pick up a couple passengers going the other way. So the line is going to be used. So at least there's that. More than a handful of people, too. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be used. Here we go. Let's see how many we pick up. A little over two cars worth. Yeah, that's not so bad. So we're going to jump out of here now. Uh, we don't need to really look at that uh, yeah, for, the, for the moment. What I want to do, I want to take a look up around here. I want to see if we have improved traffic around here. Over here, we still have things stopped up at Sneedville. Yeah. So we clearly have a traffic problem coming down this way. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, what we might do is uh, replace uh, a whole lot of these uh, intercity tram lines up here in the uh, corner uh, where we've got... Uh, we don't have a particular traffic problem up here, do we? Well, we do coming out this way. Yeah, I'm thinking if I were to get rid of these uh, intercity road connections, I'll probably end up with better results for traffic. Yeah. Now, I can't get rid of them in, the, in this Metroplex here but I could get rid of the connections up to between here and uh, Pleasantville, right? And I could uh, separate out Chester's Mill, maybe, uh, but I could sever the connection with the Thneedville, uh, Hawkins, uh, Star City uh, Metroplex. Uh, and that would probably... Uh, you know, if, and if I can break off, break the connection with Winchester and Fieldville, I think I would probably be able to uh, get a handle on that traffic. But what I what I want to do uh, in here, see, we have these um, these uh, stations here that are up on a hill with these these gimmicky uh, roads here to uh, to cheat everything I want to re replace that stuff with a uh, with these new elevated uh, platform gimmicks that we have uh, and uh, you know just generally make things look a bit better that's kind of what I want to do and I think we can substantially improve the local transportation connections in these areas by uh, replacing some of these uh, these platforms. Uh, for instance, I think we could replace this with one of those fancy uh, train stations and then put, some, put a couple elevated uh, platforms on top of it and get everything connected, say, th through you know, this line um, could come across into this line. You know, we could potentially uh, improve all of the, the connections in and out of here. But what I think would be worth doing, if we look, that's not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at this. Uh, if we look at the uh, zoning, we might be able to uh, improve the uh, transportation flow as well. Uh, so I'm thinking that might be the thing we do, is come into these uh, metroplexes here and uh, start trying to reorganize them. And, uh, and see if we, if we can't get rid of uh, 
the traffic snarls. Anyway, that's the idea. So I think that might be the uh, project next time around is to uh, see what we can do about uh, improving these uh, metroplexes and see if we can get the traffic problem solved. Like, see if we can solve this sort of thing, right? So anyway, uh, I think that's going to be enough for this time. You know, a little bit shorter than than historical, but we did the project. It's working, and I pontificated, uh, or pontificated if you prefer, uh, enough. So I think, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be all this time. So uh, remember, uh, next week, uh, Monday, is going to be uh, probably Rise of Industry. And uh, the next uh, Transport Fever 2 will be Thursday. Uh, anyway, that's all for now. So uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. Uh, yeah, especially now that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, see you back next time.